Hello everyone and thank you for coming to the channel. Alright, you know we're gonna be a little messy tonight. This is how it is. You see the plane. Okay, we finna be messy and we're trying to figure out what Julie Chen is up to. Yes, cause she's serving up some funk. She's serving up some funky funk funk. Alright. I was like, hold up, wait a minute. We trying to fly the friendly skies. And then I hear something that Julie Chen on set up on Big Brother to have none other than 50 Cent starring Cynthia Bailey and Todd Bridges. The, the two you never would have thought would be going against each other. But they hollering in that house. They cussing at each other. <laughs> Todd saying, you don't want no piece of me. I'm like, hell no, we don't want no piece of you. Because right now you're acting like a woman. Child, are you gay or something? What, what's going on? Why are you up in Cynthia's face trying to say she don't want no, she don't want to start nothing with me. She don't want this. She don't, I'm like, no, we don't want it. We don't want it, Todd. She don't want it and we don't want it either. And I'm just trying to figure out. I said, Judy playing games over there. Julie, you're playing games. You got the two worst links. The weakest links over there trying to fuss. I'm like, girl, what is going on? You're going to pick the weakest links of the show to try to go and spar at each other verbally. I'm like, Cynthia can't even fuss on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. She can't get it together to make a, a, tr a tree fall down, let alone throwing shade. Okay? I'm like. Todd and Cynthia arguing and then it seemed like Cynthia had to say what she had to say. Todd had to say what he had to say. Then she run out the, the kitchen to uh, I guess the meeting room or whatever. I mean, it could have been the bedroom. I don't know where Cynthia was going at the time. But then she wanted to go back and get some seconds. I said uh uh. See no we shut it down. We keep it lit until we remove ourselves from the situation then we go going to bed. That's how you're supposed to do that. In the house, in the big brother's house, Cynthia. You don't supposed to start stuff, walk off, then come back and start. So what kind of shit is that? Girl, I told you, you didn't need to be on this show. You didn't, you didn't need to be on the show, but I might have to catch you on Sunday to see what you're doing. Because if you're trying to fuss fight over there, you might be one of the, well, you ain't about, you ain't about that life. You want to play like you were 50 Cent. But, you know, I know you don't want to do nothing unsavory by, you know, putting your hands on nobody or throwing stuff like that. That's too much like Porsche M.O. So, we know, we know you don't want to go out there. You, I might say you're a little classy. But I don't know because Nene said you're a little trashy. But we still peeping in the wonder. We trying to see. We trying to see what we can see. Make it do what it do. But to me, I think Mellencamp over there. Might take it home or tawdry. I'm like, Candy, did you school your girl? Did you school your girl on the etiquette of how to play Big Brother? You know you were second runner up to winning. But Tamar really kind of outwitted you or whatnot. And, you know, rolled right on past you. Or flew right on past you. And, and claimed that, uh, I think it's two, two what is it, uh, 200 grand? Y'all get or something like that? Or is it 100 grand? I can't keep up because I'm not really interested in the show. But, you know, when you have some OGs up in there and then you hear they cutting up. At least I heard that on the street. Then I had to go over there. Had to see what was going on. I said, 50 Cent? Cent? Cent you doing something over there? Ooh, let me go see. And I got a little snippet. And, you know, it it, it busts my bubble because I thought she was doing, you know, you know, really clapping and, 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 and pumping up her chest and, and all that kind of stuff. But then you expect her to do that with another female, not necessarily a male. But I'm telling you, Todd Bridges is not giving me male. You know what I'm saying? Like he could be maybe bisexual or something, y'all. I'm just saying. He didn't look manly. And he still don't look manly. You know what I'm saying? Like, is he still doing drugs, allegedly? What's going on with him? Trying to fight with Cynthia. Tell me she don't want none of this. No, Todd, we don't want none of it. We don't. The people have spoken. We don't want nothing you giving, baby. Nothing. But anyway, I kind of thought I would hear something from, I think her name is Nagazi. And maybe Todd, you're getting into it. Or Chris. Chrisley getting into it with Mellencamp. You know? Because, uh, oh, Funky Funk over there. Odom. Call himself one Chloe back. Sit your ass down, man. But anyway, nowhere did you school your mama before she went on Big Brother. Is she coming home trying to check on what's his name? Her husband, Mike. Magic Mike. 
Girl, tell us the tea. Just whisper it to us. Get on your Instagram account and tell us something. What's your mama doing? Is she going home after scenes of being filmed? And then she has to come back. Is she checking on Mike? Magic Mike? Girl, tell us the tea. Tell us the tea. Because Cynthia knows she be showing fashion and face. Fashion and face. That's my baby girl when it comes to those two things. Child, but what she got up this 50 cent, I don't know. Because she ain't got no gangster. I don't care what Nene said. Uh, <laughs> she might be talking about people and whispering about people. You know, trying to do that uh, low, low talking about folks. But still making like she classy. Cynthia ain't got no fight in her bones. Hell, Mallory got the fight. <laughs> Mal Mallory got the hands. It, it bypassed Cynthia. She got... Mallory got the meanness to her. But 50 Cent, a.k.a. Cynthia Bailey. Child, please. Ain't no fighting, Cynthia. Ain't nothing but a weak link right there. She, she straddles the fence. This is what we expect of Cynthia because this is all she's ever given us. You know, she's never stood in her own uh, truth. Never stood on, you know, knocking a woman out if she had to, even though that would be a soul charge. But, you know, I'm pretty sure she got her bail money. But it's just she don't want to put that on her. And I understand that. 54, you don't need to be doing none of that. You might be playing with it in your mind and stuff. Maybe you don't destroy your enemy a uh, hundred and a hundred and different things. Types of ways, you know what I'm saying? But you don't necessarily live it in reality. But yeah, hon, I'm like, girl, why are you away? Is Mike playing on that? Is Mike playing while you gone, girl? I know you got to keep a tight leash on that brother because he already said he loose. He loose. He loose like Mother Goose. Okay, yes, he got it going on over there when you ain't home, girl. He be just running through. Women running through the, the place, running through, running. Run. You got to check the refrigerator, girl, because sometimes when you get finished getting, you know, set off or, or turned out, you get hungry, okay? I'm, like you smoking weed. You got some good weed and, you know, did whatever you had to do. Then you come down, you be having the munchies, child. You be having the munchies. I don't know nothing about that. And if I did, that happened way back in my young adulthood. Okay? Just saying it, putting it out there. But yeah, honey, I'm about to watch it. It come on Sunday, I think, don't it? Y'all, put it down in the comments. I got to check out. It's got to peep through the window or peep through the crack. Just, you know, see what sense he's giving me. Because, you know, her and uh, what's his name? Todd Bridges, they the weakest link. And then you got Lamar Odom. That's the next weakest link. Um, people I can say that can come out and win some is Todrick. Uh, Mellencamp, right there, Teddy Mellencamp, and uh, Chrisley. You know, that's all. The, the, the three I see coming out of there. Because I don't see Cynthia, honey. I don't see you coming out. And she's already spoiling things as is. I said, Julie, what you doing over there? Why are you setting these two weak links up to fight against each other? <laughs> like, woo! When I had it rush over there last night before I went to sleep, honey, before I hit the pillow. Before my head hit the pillow, I had to look and see what they were talking about. And it wasn't shit, y'all. It was nothing. It's just like, you know, you be having words or whatever. And it looked like she was crying. I'm like, how you going to cry? Cynthia, where's your backbone, baby? You on live TV where they streaming you. Your every move. Your every uh, mouthing off. Uh, or, you know, being loud or being boisterous or, or whatever you know what i'm saying they got the film they got the camera on you everywhere so i guess when you have to go use the uh, bathroom i think that should be lights out cut the camera cut the feed and, and when you dressing and stuff now when you just parlaying around the house you know talking with people having casual conversations trying to make your plan of action come alive and I know somebody had to get with you. Because I know Candy probably set the whole thing out for you. But it probably just went over your head in a sense. I know it did. It's just too much to attain at one time. I know, girl. I know. Just like um, Kim uh, Zozak told you. Just look pretty. Don't say nothing. <laughs> don't look pretty. Just look pretty. Don't say nothing. It's what Kim. I mean, Kim um, Zo oh, what's that? Zoziak told you. Beerman Zodiac, I should say. That was funny as hell when she told Cynthia that. And Cynthia got so mad. She, I mean, for her to be a dark-skinned woman or a brown-skinned woman, I could, I could see her turning red. I could just see the blush, the red, the, the, the fire just fuming out of her when she said that. But Cynthia, if we look at your background, baby, to up to this point, you haven't really been giving us nothing but neutral. That's what we keeping you. We can't put you forward. We can't take you back. You're just neutral. And give us blandness. 
when it comes to your personality and getting a, a, a sister together or a woman together when you need to. Gab them up, Cynthia, sometime. Get your hand dirty. You know what I'm saying? Get your mouth dirty a little bit. Then repent for it later on. But just check a person. That's what we're trying to tell you. We want you to be messy. And that's what you got to be over there. And big brother, you got to be messy. Even though we don't. You should know something a little about messiness. You know, and throwing shade. You've been on the housewives forever. Child. Girl. And then you sit up here and cry. You ain't got no lashes on. Because you're used to having that, um, the false lashes on. And, you know, and you you going bald, Cynthia. What's going on? Where your edge set, baby? When you was sitting around there trying to throw your hair a little bit. And you try to have like baby hair. But girl, look like you got a little some thinning st stuff up there. You need some miracle grow. You need to be checking out Kenya's products, honey. See if you can get that um that bald spot that's coming on the side. That's why you shouldn't be wearing all these braids and, and, and these weave, girl. You need to go back to the fro. All right, get your stuff, get your life back in your hair, because that was a girl. I was like, where is she going with this? That ain't no baby hair. That's like you don't lost some hair, honey. So I need you to check that. Is it my word in the hell out you, baby? Is he word in the hell? Like I'm trying to figure out how you even got on this show. I know Candy had to talk for you. I don't, ain't nobody gonna tell me different, okay? Candy got you on this show, and I ain't gonna say you need the money, but every you know, hey, everybody needs more money if they if they work, you know somebody want to give it to them. Ain't nobody gonna turn it down. You know what I'm saying? More money on top of more money is just more money. You know, more money, more problems, probably. But everybody gonna you know, I ain't gonna say everybody gonna like to generalize, but most people <laughs> they ain't gonna turn down no money unless it's some <coughs> thick strings that comes with that money, and it gotta make you come out your character or your demeanor. And we gonna do that. We gonna be you know. Messing with our character. Because that's who we are. At the end of the day, you know, that's who you are. What's your statement on life, you know? How do you carry yourself in the public? Can somebody count on you when they get down and out? Are you going to be there? You know what I'm saying? Like Michael Jackson and his uh, favorite rat, Ben. You know, like Ben. <laughs> Y'all remember that song? Like Ben. Oh, like Man. Yes, girl, I heard that coming home from work. I said, oh, let me turn this. It's making me sad. I want to cry. I had to turn to another radio station, child. Cop. That was, oh, I can't stand that song. But anyway, it's just too emotional for me. But getting back to Cynthia. Candy, did you teach her how to play the game? Did you teach her how to play the game, baby? Because coming over here fussing with a, a person that's, you know, don't seem like he still ain't got it together. And I know he damn near 50. I know he is. Shoot, been on a different world, been around the world, and yeah, yeah, yeah. He has lost his baby. I don't know, I don't know why, why, why he's here today. I'm talking about Todd Bridges' child, but anyway, let's go on to a uh, screen rant. They did a little article on Miss Cynthia Bailey and how she's still telling this lie here that she purposely wanted to leave Real Housewives of Atlanta and, and trying to. Feed it into why she's on Big Brother. I said, Cynthia, see you're lying already. You're just lying. Do I think Mellencamp gonna come out with it? That's Mellencamp right there. Teddy Mellencamp. What do y'all think? Who y'all got to win Celebrity Big Brother? It just seems like she knows she she tried to play the game. But I already said, I think it has to be Chrisley. I don't think that Nagazi woman, the Asian woman to the right, gonna win. And uh, hell, I don't want Lamar to win because he'll probably put it on some drugs or something. You know, so he ain't gonna do nothing useful with it, is what I'm saying. Especially if he's trying to get back with Chloe. He ain't no cheering by Chloe. You know what I'm saying? He ain't got no ties. But he still says something about them Kardashian and women. You can't get rid of them. You know, they're like vampires or something. They just stick to you like gum under your shoe. But anyway. Yes, let's go on to what Screen Rant had proposed to uh, of an article they put out. Uh, it's by uh, Bernardo Sim. Okay, he published it a good while ago, February 3rd. But we're just picking it up on it. We might have to go to another article to bring us home. You know what I'm saying? But let's just see what they're saying. It goes, Celebrity Big Brother 3, Cynthia Bailey. Sad Real Housewives of Atlanta exit explain. Like, How many times you gonna regurgitate the same old lie, Cynthia? Just be true. Be true to yourself. And it'll set you free, baby. They didn't want you. They didn't want you. You had no storyline. You ain't had storyline since you really started on the show. I mean, Peter was your storyline. And that was a storyline when he was around. Hey, Nene had called him a bitch. Remember that? 
And then she got him setting her up with a man that don't even want her. And it's so obvious. I got to do it. I have to do one. When she was. I got to do another video with Nene. Because hey, she don't see it. I'm like, damn, is you blind, baby? Is you deaf, blind, and mute? God, what's going on with you? Everybody can see that man don't want you. He, ain't, he wasn't even trying to hold you tight or uh, hold you close or nothing. When you was over there, call yourself uh, subbing in a little bit here and there for uh, Jeannie Ma while she's out on vacation with her baby on maternity leave, one would want to say. And, you know, had Nene filling in this week. I'm like, we don't need her bring her back. We don't need to bring her back. Because she don't know how to show up and show out and make her coin. And leave these men or that man she trying to call her boyfriend out the picture. He don't need to be up there. You just selling business for him. And when he get out of the business he needs, he's going to drop you, Nene. Damn. But like I said, I give you the September. I let you be grieving and showing out and, and making a fool out yourself to that time. And then I'm really going to have to just get on you. Because, you know, you, we fit the floor. You can't be acting like an ass out. Like you ain't got no damn sense running around here. So many single men out there. Okay, that you could be messing with. That don't have nobody. You know what I'm saying? You just got, you one of those, uh, how you call it, newly rich people. They looking at, they, they're targeting people like you, baby. And then the one that you called a bitch a long time ago in Real Housewives of Atlanta. You gonna let Peter Thomas set you up with somebody, baby girl. That's how I know you ain't on your game. You ain't on your game. But that'll be another video coming out to a um, phone or a television screen or a computer screen near you <laughs> from me. All right. Your fam. But anyway, it goes on to say Celebrity Big Brother number three. Cynthia Bailey said Real Housewives of Atlanta exit. Explain. Okay, so explain it, girl. Explain it because we ain't buying it, girl. Suit it up, set it up, and we will view. But we'll tell you we ain't buying it, girl. We ain't buying it. Okay, it says find out why Celebrity Big Brother 3 star Cynthia Bailey chose to quit The Real Housewives of Atlanta in 2021 after being on the show for 10 years. Okay, damn Cynthia, 10 times 10, girl, you should not even be on anybody's show. Think about it, girl, 10 years at your pay that you would get. You should be set. You should be cemented, not, how you used to say, not uh, solidified. You should be cemented. And everything, Bitcoin or or stocks and bonds and, 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 you know, a little money in the bank. Don't put all your money in the bank because banks, you know, look at Wells Fargo and see how they doing with the Williams, okay? Might even need to get you a tin jar, a shovel, and, and, and dig you a ditch or something like that. Put some money down there, too. Put some money in the Bible. Put, put some money everywhere, you know what I'm saying? So you can just pick and choose wherever you're at. You can just grab, your, you know, a little piece of hill like that you know what i'm saying like you got a money tree outside but it's just everywhere and you know then definitely all of them in no bank but anyway that's just my um my little side piece gym i give y'all when i'm flapping at the jaws over here but it goes on to say celebrity big brother season three viewers are getting to know cynthia bailey and are wondering why she decided to leave the real housewives of atlanta in 2021 i can tell you with no hesitation they fired you baby they fired you they said they didn't want you they didn't want you no more cynthia they said the streets were talking they didn't they, they the streets been talking but we just been holding you down for the last really four or five years you weren't giving us anything we thought you were gonna give us something but you know we had to have a neutral person so we just thought we were going to keep you until basically we can find somebody else with some action power behind them some drive some tv experience where they want to give us drama just a little bit of an infraction not enough to put us in jail or have uh, lawsuits coming but just a little something like to the edge but don't go touching the edge type of drama but you, you didn't you fall you fell short baby you fell short and since everybody else was cutting up uh nini namely and uh other people thinking they want this that and the third from us we had to do some cutting we we said oh geez got to go they don't cost us too much money they really not delivering on anything because they don't got so used to getting a paycheck and not necessarily giving us any drama you know what i'm saying you know how you get used to a job you start expecting certain things you get those things and you pitch another idea of what you think you can bring uh for the next season and we buy it uh, meaning bravo and then when it's time to film we ain't got shit to film and we got to go make up you know kinds of crazy stories to plan in there and hopefully it'll spring up something you know kind of what they did with sheree banking on her and look what happened they were trying to 
get lawsuits put on them. <laughs> Cease and desist letters was coming uh, from the boyfriend of uh, what's the name, Sheree Whitfield. Just all kind of allegations going uh, towards Bravo. They were like, see, you see, we already messed up with this. Nah, we don't need you. We don't need you. So they really got in the trend of cutting OGs out of all the brand. Bra uh, Bravo franchises You know the white ones had to go The black ones had to go The Asians had to go They was cleaning the house I'm like damn Y'all taking everybody ain't you But you know With a, a long standing uh, Group of women And you know Them going in the day out The storylines got boring It's with nothing really being invented For us to want to sit And take part of uh, and, and be catered to Watching them every week You know what I'm saying so, uh, yeah, Cynthia, they didn't want you, baby. Did you hear it clearly? They did not want you. Okay, you can dress it up and put it as pretty as you want to, tie it in a bow, put it on your Christmas tree, put it in your bed to open up later. But the, the name of the game, you did not deliver. They got tired of you. You were old news. So they had to get rid of you. So what they do, play that old game. You'll be a friend of the show. <laughs> And the fact that Cynthia said that she was thinking about, she was contemplating accepting the offer. I'm like, baby, you would accept that offer. It might one in your life. <laughs> Either one was saying, no, nah, baby, you better than that. If they don't want to meet your demands or they don't want to give you the same salary you had, drop them, baby. That's what he probably said. And Cynthia was like, okay, baby, I'll do that. I'm like, girl, please. But anyway. Uh, going back to the article, it said uh, model and reality TV star Cynthia Bailey is now competing on um, Big Brother 3 as one of the 11 celebrities on the show for the grand prize of $250,000. However, she had a long journey on real reality TV as one of the cast members of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And a special sneak peek, peek preview that I'm going to give y'all. I heard it on the street, the YouTube street now. Can't tell you where I heard it from. There's no sense in knowing all that information. Okay. But they said Nene was a front runner. She really was going to be a part of the show and they wanted her until somebody on the executive team got to thinking about what she been doing out here in public and what she been saying and the allegations she throws out and they were like no cbs don't want that kind of smoke no this nope 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 we gotta find somebody else and that's why i believe they talked to ken and say can you can, can you tell us anybody else <laughs> we, we could think about cynthia since she ain't got nothing going on right now and we could probably pay her less to be on the show because i don't know do they get something on the show just for being on the show y'all or they just competing and hopefully they don't get eliminated uh to win at 20 $250,000. Is that what it is? Or do they get a little something, something for coming on the show? Y'all get down in the comments and let the sister know. Okay, let a family member know. Because, you know, we inquisitive. We, we curious. Um, but anyway, going back to the article, it said um, Cynthia made her TV debut in the Real Housewives of Atlanta Season 3 cast. She starred in the series alongside OG cast members. Nene Leakes, Sheree Whitfield, Kim Zosiak Berman, Kim the Burrs, and Phaedra Parks. Over the years, Cynthia saw a lot of casting changes on the Real Housewives of Atlanta and outlasted all of her original co-stars for Season 3 on the show. At last, Cynthia shocked the Real Housewives fans when she announced that she was be that she will be leaving the franchise after Real Housewives of Atlanta season thirteen. And we're like, Cynthia, you didn't come up with that baby, you know. And of course, Bravo is not going to infringe upon you wanting your own spin or your own take or why you won't be a part of the show. They kind of introduced you to that idea that you should go on and get ahead of uh, letting your fans or followers or viewers that like you on the show go and give them a pre-announcement okay we won't say nothing if you don't want to tell them that you were offered a friend part of the show uh which anybody would feel as a slap in the face since you had been on for so long baby 10 plus years or 10 strong so you wouldn't throw your own self out the door so they had to do it for you pretty much but you go on and tell your story Cynthia you go and tell your truth baby all right but then it said in an interview with E uh Cynthia talked about how bittersweet it felt to come to the decision that she had to leave the Real Housewives of Atlanta behind her I'm happy but I'm also sad at the same time she explained it's almost like What's in the world? How do I do this for 11 years? Cynthia also talked about how challenging it had always been 
to be on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, revealing that she had thought of quitting the show many times before. During the interview, Cynthia mentioned that Bravo offered her a friend role of the Real Housewives of Atlanta for season 14. And she um, initially considered it. I said, yeah, because you're dumb. You're dumb, Cynthia. It wouldn't cross nobody else's mind. You know, they would have been adding up things and keeping things, you know, afloat and, and keeping their, you know, what do you call it? Their uh, bank account streamlined for issues like this where you don't have to necessarily take what they give you because you've been eating off to them for 11 years. You see what I'm saying? So if they did not want to bring you back, you could have just casually said, well, you know, it is time for me to go because that offer that you're saying, that's more of a demotion. And I know y'all trying to get rid of the OGs, but I'll buy out gracefully, okay? And that's how it should have been done. But you contemplated. So that that pretty much tells me you had nothing else going on. Where is your management, baby? And where what's going on with the Bailey agency? I mean, you should be doing things. Doing things, making big things happen. I mean your 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 clothes well, it wasn't a clothing line, it was an accessory line, it was a luggage line, then it was the Bailey agency. And um, it was something else I think you were into. And I'm just like, damn, what, what what we got going on? Are you making jewelry with your sister Mallory now? Are you making beaded jewelry, baby? Because you wear it all the time. I'm like, could, should you invest in that? <coughs> Be like evil to make you a jewelry online. But hell, the other three things ain't working for you, look like. Because you're still trying to be out here in the limelight. Now, I thought you wanted to spend time with Mike. You said you want to cultivate your marriage. You want to invest in that and this, that, and third. And you still out here running these streets. Because you don't need to be on Big Brother. Okay? But, hey, do what makes you happy. Because you're saying one thing, but you're doing another thing. So, that's double-minded, Cynthia. I'm like, get it together. You're 54, baby. Will you be 55 this year? I don't know. But, anyway. Um... <coughs> You know, she said they had offered her a friend contract. She had contemplated it for a moment. And then ultimately, um, though, she felt like it was better to just cut the cord. I said, no, baby, they cut the cord already. It's just you were hanging on for dear life. You were just hanging on for dear life. And they didn't want to, like, dangle you, dangle you, and just throw the rope in the air and let you fall down flat. No. Because you didn't do anything wrong to them. The 11 plus years, <clears throat> you had served them amicably. You know what I'm saying? They gave you. You gave them what little that you could give them. But they know you weren't working with that. They know you weren't working with that. Because Cynthia uh, Bailey, your storyline was with Peter. Okay? And when Peter left, everything just went flop city. Then you call yourself trying to get up with Mike Hill. Oh, girl. That that was the biggest disappointment for everybody, pretty much. Okay? And I want to generalize on that one. That was a, th that was a piss poor uh judgment of a man that you wanted it's just like you just he just uh called your name or saw you paid you a little attention and you just fell in love oh and that was just such a, a debacle man because guess what Cynthia, i'm not Cynthia. can you even try to tell you don't run after that man let that man run after you girl sit back and relax chill relax relate release if the man gonna marry he gonna marry a girl that's what she saying then you try to get mad at her and she wasn't really doing them a spilling true tea for you to drink it up but you def you refused to drink it you refused to drink it you said i'm drinking wine at the time i don't want no tea so we see how that went and we see where you are now because the man is uh basically allegedly cheating on you okay and you're still looking like a woman with egg on her face from being cheated on to being cheated on to being cheated on okay just is what it is, Cynthia. But anyway, uh, we're not going to regurgitate all this other stuff about her being a part of the Ultimate Girls Trip. We saw how that went. It was okay. It was nothing exciting. And we don't want to hear anything about your marriage. Um, but, you know, just being on Big Brother uh, was something that it said she was really liking and she wanted the experience. And then um, Cynthia may have competed for a screen time during her time on Real Housewives of Atlanta but she doesn't have experience in a reality competition series like Celebrity Big Brother okay with that said she is in the uh, Big Brother's house with uh, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills Telly uh, what her name? Teddy Mellencamp the last lady on the right alright and uh, appears to know former queer eye fashion Carson Crisley. Yeah, because he was over there taking up for her last night. Or whenever they was having this uh, fight, her and Todd Bridges, a verbal fight. Yeah, uh, 
uh, queer uh, eye fashion man expert Carson Crisley was over there trying to help a sister out. You know, and she he was basically trying to tell Todd she, he shouldn't have did that. Not at no female, not at no woman, not Cynthia Bailey. <laughs> I'm like, he was putting Cynthia Bailey on a high pedestal at the time. I'm like, you sure you're looking at the right person, uh, Crisley? We get that uh, that extra stuff from Mariah. You know, from Married to Medicine. You know, she ain't going to be on her chariot throwing tomatoes in the street with the peasants. <laughs> that's her, honey. That's not Cynthia Bailey, girl. Or that's Nene or Kenya Moore. A Portia, child. You got the wrong person. But Chris will say he's going to take up for his Cynthia. Oh, yes, he is. She queen to him, honey. She's the main attraction. I said, uh-uh, not Cynthia. Girl, but he might be playing the game. He might be playing the game. So I ain't got nothing against him. I ain't got nothing against him, y'all. But anyway, it said um, uh, Chris, Chris Carson Chrisley, a uh, Cressley was on us. So maybe they will work out an alliance in the big game. Big Brother fans can't wait to see if Cynthia will play the game and get to the end. Well, I can just size it right now. No, she ain't going to get to the end. She probably ain't going to get to the middle part. Because she's been up for elimination from what I hear. And if Mel and Kim have anything to do with it. And Todrick, yeah, she'll be coming home on the next thing smoking. Probably in the next week or so. <laughs> Woo! Because Todrick is there to win. Carson is there to win, and Mella Camp show got her heels digged in to win. And Cynthia is just like, woo, child. The sands that's running through your fingers. These are the days of our lives. <laughs> Y'all remember that hourglass clock? Or I mean, the hourglass with sand be going through. Woo, that's a long history of running so Papa show, child. I don't even know if it's still on. It might be. It might be. But that's all I have for this video, guys. I had to get in here and talk about my Cynthia. Yes, I did. I'm like, girl, you don't, don't make me have to come over there and watch you. But I do plan on trying to see it this Sunday since it's so much smoke going on over there. I need to sift through the smoke and see who would be victorious between the fight, the verbal fight between Todd Bridges, a.k.a. Uh, little mama <laughs> and, and Cynthia, aka Peter Cent. See who gonna battle it out. I know they ain't gonna get no hands with one another, they ain't gonna get physical. But if they get verb again, I want a front row seat so I can say who won what and, and what, what, uh, what do you call it? What, um, uh, not phase we're in, but what, what is the match? <laughs> we're gonna just have three matches between them to just decide. Who's going to win, you know, whatever argument. Who put the most force in the argument, you know. And was it displayed as true shade or an unshaded, you know, uh, type of banter. But that's all I have, y'all. And if you want to support your girl on Big Brother, go on over there. Go on, support her. Tune in. Chime in. I'm sure she'll be doing somewhat of a live feed or she might be on. Well, I don't know if they can have phones. So, yeah, it might not be a situation like that. But, um, yeah. So, y'all take it easy. And I'll see y'all next video, guys. Bye-bye.